All right, guys, this is D stash, um, all baby thing stuff. Okay, it's kind of a lot actually. It's a hodgepodge, let me just tell you that. So expect that. Um, and it's a possibility I could d definitely add more to it. I, I think I'm not quite sure yet. I'm, I think <laughs> I can't. Oh my gosh. Um, anyway, okay, so let me just start off with um, some of this pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty um, ruffle in blue. Pretty for baby journals and baby books. And my light's going to look a little bit funky and yellow because it just will not act right. Maybe I should just turn that off. Yeah, that's better, I think. Looks better on the camera, I'm not sure. Anyway. Okay, so ruffle, and there is that much of it, and this much of it, and that's folded over, so that's really pretty, and when I tell you it's a baby blue, it's a baby blue, it's not stretchy, okay, and then there's also pink in that, and there's that much of it, it's folded over twice from here to here and then you've got this pretty little um, doily that is just the cutest thing ever in these pretty pastel pastel um, greens and lavender pink and yellow hand crocheted no stains on that one it's really pretty um, I don't know how you do, you know who's the expert on doing vintage baby, using vintage in ba today's baby books? Carla Frizzell. Um, she's, yeah, she, she does a lot of that and it's just really, um, cool. And so does, uh, Kristen, too. I haven't seen Kristen in a while. Kristen is in baby, grand let me say, all of you who are grandmothers, I don't want to talk to y'all. Don't even want to speak to you. Mm-mm. Nope. Totally jealous. Totally. <laughs> and very proud and happy for you guys, honestly. I'm talking about Jen Jones. I'm talking about Carla Frizzell, Jess Rapp, Kristen at Rock Paper Treasures, all the young grandmas. I'm just not talking to y'all. Period. It's over, man. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um... Uh oh, let's see. Hang on, guys. I'm getting notifications here. Okay, then you've got this pretty um, ruffle. Now, I think this is from Target. This is vintage Target. It's a lot of it, it's a bunch of it. Ruffle Palooza. And up here, it must have been some type of curtain because it's got this little pocket up here, but it's, it's um, machine done and it's really pretty. Um, it's a lot of it. It's a lot of it, but I thought that wouldn't this be cute for a baby girl? Excuse me, these pink ruffles. Look at that. Just adorable. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, there's that, and there's a lot of it. There's, let me see, let me lift this up. Let me show you. Oh my God, let me break them apart. Hold on. Okay, there's that much. I'm working on a new space, guys, and I'll be able to show a lot more than what you see because sometimes stuff is just big. I'm from the world of little, and but everything is always just big. Okay, so here's this part of it that's folded over once, and then, boop, there's the other side of it, and there's another one of those. Okay, so let me fold this one with you on camera. I haven't cut any of this. I don't think I cut any of this. I, I'm pretty sure I have not cut any of this. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's see. Let's get this folded over here. Alright, I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to you guys about myself too because I want to make sure you can see it all. So there's that. Okay. I have to be careful guys. My, I, my camera tends to become grainy if my video flips the wrong way and I try to pay attention to that because 
the uh, images of the beginning of um, the videos they turn out really grainy and the wrong way hang on let me double check this hold on okay I hope that's set the right way and then there's a lot of this now I cut a slither of this because I have just a little bit that's what all I cut out of there was a little square from here to there to there this little square here to put in um, a yellow de-stash pack this is all de-stash and I've guys I've had some of this stuff for a while I just you know time 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 but I ain't complaining about time I'm in love with time I love time it's a good thing um, yeah so yeah there's a lot of this and it's got these cute little bunnies let me fold it here let me show you how much is in here sort of show you because it's a lot there's one fold there's two and it's folded again here and it keeps going all the way up 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 over to here and there's the fold and then there's where I took a little cut from it to add into the yellow um, pack that I have coming up it's just yellow things I've collected as I'm going through stuff and I had a lot of this so I was like this is a lot for one but the ladies who make baby journals they would do this up like in a heartbeat <laughs> like no doubt man okay so this has cute little pink and blue bunnies on it and yellow bunnies that are upside down and teal bunnies and butterflies and yellow and pinks and teal butterflies okay so there's that there's a lot of that and they're so cute really really cute cute for baby books cute for Easter all right and then okay this is a hot mess right here uh, let me get all the fabric out guys just bear with me um got some oops, some vintage yet uh, ribbon here that wants to stay down in the box and I'm trying to get it out please come out come out come out okay hold on I'm getting it all out oh, I love that I gotta show you that too okay and then it's paper and other stuff and that train stamp I stole from the stamp lot thank you to whoever buys that <laughs> oh my goodness at least I tell you what I'm doing where it's going okay this is a hot mess I have to put this in a rubber band you know why this was a Beatrix Potter baby dress guys this is my daughter was so rotten and spoiled because my great-grandmother and grandmother and great Amy they bought her like everything like she was the most foo-fooest little puff of a of a child it's just ridiculous they bought her everything um but they like christmas she was all dressed up easter all dressed up we were too <laughs> it's like please it's too hot for that anyway <laughs> oh at least not in christmas it's not hot but easter is suspect okay so this is a old beatrix potter baby dress and I've cut it up and I'm sticking it in here because you're not gonna have the label because I cut it out because it was a Beatrix Potter label brand alright so that won't be in here but I had to put roll it up into a rubber band because I have cut and snipped and cut I cut the edgings off the ruffles off they were right here um, I just cut it up and it's just you know it's just there for for you to now cut it up at least you know you'll be working with a real true baby Beatrix Potter dress that's what this was until I got my hands on it really cute dress but I loved um, selling um, that label and the ruffles and other things so there it is the stash okay this is oh I love this hand crocheted it's got all the baby colors, all the pastel colors. It's got lavender. It's got yellow, blue, green, and it's just hand stitched. You can um, do a baby snippet roll with this. You can do edges on a page with this. You can do tags with it. You can do other page uh, layout embellishments with it. It's just up for the grabs, and it's so beautiful and so worthy of, of recycling and saving. And it's all hand done. Um, I like this part of it here where it's connected to fabric. It was. I didn't cut that off. I, I bought it like that in a sewing pack. Okay. 
And then you've got this old, old vintage hanky. This is like a teal and a pink. It's got some maybe moth um, chewings on it, holes in it, or just age holes. But it's really pretty and old. I got this in a lot of hankies. And because it didn't really fit with some of the kits that I was doing, I just preserved it for baby stuff. It's really light, um, transparent, very pretty, and I think worthy of saving as well. The stash. That's what this is. And then you guys remember, you guys, I took you along with me, and there's one fly in here that my dog, my babies, my fur babies let in. Um, I took you guys along with me when I found this. Um, it's a video somewhere back where my mom and I are at an estate sale. And there was a lady, and I kept saying, oh, hand me that. Oh, can you reach that um, and, and hand me that? And then I went in another room, and there was a lot of um, uh, trims and all kinds of pretty things. So these are really pretty um, snails and mushrooms and all kinds of kid colors, traditional colors, basic colors, red, blue, green, yellow. Okay. There's that part of it. And there is this part of it because I've used it in something and that's a real true let's play um, kid school blue um, basic teaching kids these basic colors and then you've got this pretty yellow trim and I think I am gonna do it because y'all know I improvise on camera <laughs> I'm gonna take just a snippet of this and put it in that yellow kit about yay much see that that's going in the yellow pack I've got a yellow pack and I think somebody might already have has called dibs on that one but I'm going to show it and see if she likes it and if she does it's gone if she um, wants to pass on it then I'll put it up for grabs for you guys so you have plenty of this it's pretty it's yellow ribbon inside of lace can you guys see that? Isn't that gorgeous? And it keeps going on and on and on and on and on. But there's not that much of it, right? There's a lot. There's about yay much of it there. That's not yay much. That's more than yay. Okay. And then I have gifted this. Oh, my God. I love this, this fabric so much. It's got kids on it playing, um, just playing. They're playing ball with their dog. They are... Um, on hobby horses, rocking horses. Um, they are, what else are they? Pushing baby cart, uh, baby carriages, baby carts. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so out of touch, guys. <laughs> like, out of touch. Um, this is a doll, I think, and this is a little clown, I think. It's just really cute. And this material, this uh, fabric is really nice. I've gifted that in Happy Mail. Um, a lot of it actually in Happy Mail. So there's that. There's two pieces of that. And then you've got this cute little piece. Just a remnant um, that opens up like so and out like so. It's a nice size piece. Um, I've taken a, a little slither off there a long time ago. Not recently. And it's got bears and balls uh, bouncy balls, bears, stars, blocks, apples, flowers, drums. Uh, this looks like a bag of marbles, maybe. I'm not sure. Boats. It's got little boats on there. Really cute. Very, 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 very baby kid stuff. And then, oh, there's more of that fabric. Lots of that. That's even cute for Christmas baby books, too. Okay, and then you've got this one, and I have gifted some of this off as well. And this is all I have left of this one. This one's really cute. Um, it's got um, hand crocheted little ducks on there. And they might be machine crocheted, but they're in pink, blue, green, and yellow. And they're just little duckies on linen. This probably was a baby sheet or something like that. That's what it feels like. It tears, rips really easy. Well, not that way. <laughs> I don't want to demonstrate too much. 
Okay, there's a lot of that. That's really cute. Very baby, baby. That's newborn baby stuff right there. And then you've got this eyelet here that is really pretty. Okay, and there's about that much of it. It's going to get noisy in here in a minute, guys, because it's getting really, really hot. And I'm going to turn um, uh, the small uh, AC on. Just the small one. That's all I need. If my mother was here, if I had a parent living with me, an elderly person, and I'm not calling my mom elderly, boy, she would cuss me out if she heard me say that. <laughs> Oh my god, she would cuss me out. <laughs> like up one side and down the other. Um, but if she was living with me, I would have all the stuff on. Okay, then you've got, okay, let me get the paper together. Let me show you a little image of what we're looking at. So there's that big lot right there. Whoops, it's not clear, is it? There we go. All right, and now let me get the paper part together and I'll, I'll show you uh, what's in that. Okay, you'll notice, guys, that you don't hear my dogs barking as much right now. Well, one, Smokey is old. He's 13, you know, we've had him since 2008. Anyway, um, and Bishop, a German Shepherd that is so hyper, this weather has calmed him down, sort of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> he, oops, there's another piece of that. He's He has calmed down because it's so hot. And German Shepherds have so much um, hair and, you know, and, and all that running around and stuff. He Man, he's just like, okay, yeah, this is... <laughs> and we had him last year during this time, but it's just really humid, the humidity. Okay, let me show you guys what else is in here. Um, I've got... Oh, let me just... See if I can grab it all. There might be some. Is there more fabric in here? No. Okay, let me just show you um, uh, the paper in here. Okay. Let me just try. I'm going to just turn this over and flip through it like I have always done for the most part. Um, there's some. I found my um, ideal books. They were because guys I'm de-stashing I found some so I might I don't know if I'm gonna put those on as a lot or I'm thinking about doing some um, I've got a lot of um, gaming old 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 gaming pieces um, in terms of you know like Scrabble cards and all that kind of stuff and I'm still thinking about it anyway I was gonna put it together some page packs and I was gonna put the ideal books in there but they kind of don't fit so I haven't decided yet but I, I'll figure it out okay this is a baby kids theme um, ideal book pages um, and I had these from oh my gosh from a while ago so just lots and lots of kids images this is so cute that's why that's in there oh my gosh this fly is gonna drive me nuts And there's that. Oh my gosh, when my nephew Abraham, Abraham, when he was a baby, guys, I have images of that. If I could find it, I would put it in here. Um, but it would take me a, a hot minute. He, guys, he was so tiny and I used to keep him, my husband and I used to, to have them. We had them when they were newborns, him and Ruby and my niece, um, Sierra. And Abraham... I took him bath in the little tubs that people probably use to, I don't know, soak their feet or whatever. He was so little. He was so itty bitty. He was so cute. Now, oh my God, all he wants to do is be on the video games and that's it. And in fact, I may have shared with you guys, he used to be on, on his, um, my brother-in-law, his granddad's cell phone. His abuelitos, his tatas, cell phones so much playing games that he wouldn't go use the bathroom. And so it was becoming a problem because that's, you know, that's really bad on kids' bladder. On their bladders when they, they're sitting there just gaming and gaming and gaming like that. Um, and, and don't, they're so into it that they don't go pee-pee. Um, so that was a problem. 
Let me go let Smokey out. I think he wants to go out, guys. Hold on. Okay. Hubs heard him before I did. <laughs> okay. So this is this book here is just adorable. It's so cute. It's got all of these, and it's from the 50s. You guys, I've shown these before, 1954. But the pages, the images are just so cute. And I've gifted, I found like three or four of these somewhere at a thrift store. And I've taken some pages out, but it's really cute. Love the Red Riding Hood. Love the Three Pigs. So adorable. The flags, rabbits, excuse me, um, cats. Look at the um, Peter Cottontail or is that Peter Rabbit? I don't know. Guys, I really don't know the difference between Peter Cottontail and Peter Rabbit or Beatrix Potter's Peter uh, uh, Rabbit. I, uh, Rabbit. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. If it says Beatrix Potter on there, then I know it's hers. <laughs> I really don't. They're all the same to me, the rabbits are. Um, very cute uh, Dick and Jane kind of images. Very cute for uh, children's books. These are awesome. You can cut these out, make journal cards with them, tags with them. Very reminiscent of of um, uh, the 50s. That's when the book is. Here's something I cut out, but I left that bus image in there. Like, see, I would cut that out and put that on a thank you tag as a little centerpiece and, and a cluster. <laughs> cute little puppies. Looks like the dogs that my husband was trying to keep and no, 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 no. <laughs> the last we heard, they're doing really well. And they are um, a lot bigger now. And somebody sent my husband a picture of them, the, one of the uh, persons that live down there. It's like a big property. I can't explain it. And the people who own the dogs, they don't live on the property. They live in a different part, but the property is theirs. But that's where they were housing the dogs. And so... Um, after my husband made them a really cute house, everything was fine. Lots of images here. Look at the little pig, the corn, the fish, the house, the hat, the hair. Look at the lamp. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so cute. So cute. Here's a tear right there. All the Dick and Jane stuff, all the stuff that I call falsehood, <laughs> and I will forever call it that. It's a lie. Don't believe it. Even William Faulkner says it's a lie. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's the milkman with cows, milk cows, dogs, teddy bears, dolls, frogs, lassie dogs, cats, combs, radios, clocks, boxes, fences, pears. So cute, right? Squirrels, lights, street lights, all kinds of cute stuff. Really nice book, 1954. All right, um, this is a little book of trains that I gutted for some reason for some kit, probably a kid's kit. I had some really huge mega kids kits a while back, and those were fun to put together. <gasps> Black people! Okay, got to take them out. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Got to take the black people out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There's one black man driving the train, so that didn't leave very many pages. Black kid! We'll leave him in there because he's playing. He's having fun. Okay, and then these are book pages from... Um, Really old books. You can see how old they are. Look at that uh, um, patina from the binding. That's probably from a religious book. And then you have these cute little images like this. Look at the cabbage. Farmer. Farm's house stuff. Farmhouse barnyard stuff. Cute, 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 cute images. And this book was old. Oh my God. I think it was from the 40s. I shouldn't say that, guys. My mom was born in 38. I better not say that too loud. Not that she could hear me. We just won't tell her. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Cute, 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 cute. Let's see, this one, Brand McNally, established 
1856 but there's the uh, um, there you go okay that's the Roman numeral date for that love this little kid I'm putting her in the yellow book a uh, yellow pack guy sorry <clears throat> just because she's cute and she's got that cute little yellow dress on love the cows and the bluebird blue jay we see lots of blue jays and red jays oh and the other night I don't know about a week or so ago I was outside on the porch filling my dog's water um, bucket bowl their stainless steel bowl out there and I know stainless steel is hot it's hot but we keep it in a cool place and we add ice cubes to it anyway um I was outside on the porch and I saw um, the little bugs that light up we used to catch those in jars when I was a kid and it was just the coolest thing they were so they were all over the place they were just so beautiful and it almost felt like I was in sort of tr transported into an Asian place where they do the lanterns the light um, the lights that they let go up in the sky um, I, it was just so beautiful and it was it was really nice it was really cool I haven't seen those bugs in a while they're so cute because you have to look at them when you look at them they you see the light and then it goes out and then they fly a little bit and you look again and there they are again it's just the neatest thing ever I just remember as a kid um, us catching them and putting them in jars but then we'd let them go you know <laughs> we weren't horrible kids I don't know if it would have been horrible for us to keep them though we used to keep bees in jars we would catch them from the honeysuckle we have some of that too but it's I think it's too hot for it now comes out in spring and then there's some more of that uh, religious page of baby Jesus looking very 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 girly <laughs> love that Jesus was very effeminate he really was at least in the images we have of him so look at this baby Jesus look how high that dress goes up <laughs> it says forgiveness to the repentant was natural to little Jesus as it is to all innocent children so cute okay there's that and then there's some um, part pieces and uh, parts that I have making sure that you guys can see that have cut out let me go a little faster and you can make cards with these you know you pop something on the back like you guys do um, I don't know about coffee dyed paper but you could put some blue paper on the back of their pink paper and make it really cute um, even coffee dyed paper I love this image here of this little boy um, playing with his um, night isn't that cute that's from one of those I have some of these books in my Etsy store from um, make and do or child craft books or something like that okay let me move the little pieces over here okay there's cardboard castle there's kids working and cleaning up well I'm sorry she's not holding a broom she's holding a paintbrush excuse me Renee <laughs> she's an artist not a domestic girl oh my god that's what I teach don't be domestic be a firefighter pilot or an engineer or an architect you don't need a broom Oh my gosh, somebody would love to send me off on a broom, I'm sure. Look at that. Look. <laughs> you love that? Oh my god, that reminds me of my baby Abraham and Ruby. Oh my gosh, she was so chunky. <clears throat> Sierra was a little, my no, sister's daughter was a little thinner, but oh my god, my sister and I just used to laugh and hug and play with her in the middle of my sister's living room floor. I put this one here in here because I love this image this is a National Geographic image but I love that baby's hand and her little bracelets on on her mom so she's you know just touching a mom um, as she's walking as they're walking is so such a security thing and a safe you know it makes kids feel safe oh my god guys I'm gonna flip through these love this image here mom and daughter um, some weirdos two weirdo dudes tried to kidnap this baby boy while he was walking a little bit ahead of his mom I they literally just tried to snatch that baby 
right in front of the mom's face, right in her face. It's like, how bold are these people, these sickos? How bold do they get? Um, this comes from that, and while we're at it, hold on, because I keep telling you guys, hold on. I was going to show you the name of that. Let me grab it. I'll have to show you guys another time because it's in a space where it's my shelf. It's a tall brown box. I'll promise I'll show you guys. Um, but it's in my in my shelf, so I would have to turn it sideways to pull it out. And I have National Geographic and Reader's Digest books up there, so I'm not going to mess around with it right now. But anyway, so this weirdo guy, these are from the 50s, uh, 60s, 1966. There's the name of it. You probably can Google that. Because I know a lot of lady asked a lot of ladies asked me about these cards, so there they are. Um, anyway, so yeah, the mom was walking with her son and her other kids, and he, um, this man, just ran up and grabbed her son and put him in the car. Luckily, the mom ran and took the baby out of the car. There was another man on the other side, on the passenger side. And her and her other kids um, got their brother and her son out of that car before they drove away. I think it was in um, New York. I'm not sure. I was horrified when I saw that. I was like, oh my God. I, I, I would I would definitely, it just would not be, be good. Just wouldn't be good. That's all I have to say. Look at this bird with these pretty flowers. And you've got kids handwriting in here. So, so, so cute. It's just horrifying what people, like, how do you take a child right from up under a mom's um, arms like that? As they're walking, they were just walking in the, in public in day, in the daytime. It's unbelievable. It's like, what the hell? Are you kidding me? Um, anyway, cute images here. This cute little girl, she's getting ready to get some eggs, fresh eggs. Look at this kid. He's cute. This book has to be from the 40s because my mom is a really good artist. And this, when she used to draw, this is the kind of what the face looked like. Here's the... Right there. There we go. Okay. So lots and lots to to play around with here. These images are just so cute. So 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 cute. Look at this kid. Here's the back of it and it's got some handwriting on it and some pencil um there and but somebody loved on that really well. Okay, I think my uh, video just split. Okay. This is that Dick and Jane feel that y'all all know how I feel about it, but <laughs> worth preserving these images because somebody will love them up. Look at this place, school. The dog you hear outside barking is someone else's dog. Look at the little red table. So cute. Now Bishop's barking. Okay, so there's that. You get the gist of this. It's just that Dick and Jane kind of feel very minimal these pages are so minimal um and they're really really nice let's see if i can find a date on this one Pen some kids pencil some child had a moment <laughs> they had a moment scribble 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 okay uh 1955 for that one and then this little book is so cute love this book it's just adorable it's got the cover to it, 1953. Very, very cute images. I'll be quiet and just flip through this. Love this image. Them looking out up to the sky. Love this image, all the nature, the little bees and flowers. And she's distracted in her cute little pink jumper. All the pages are in this one. Guys, I didn't take any pages out of here. He's picking apples. Look at him in the little black kitten. The bicycle, tricycle. Hair, hair up. When I was a kid, we said plaits. Plaiting. But obviously, the new way to say that, I guess, is braiding. <gasps> black kids! Yay! <laughs> 
love black kids. We love black and brown babies. Of course. I miss my, my beautiful, beautiful dark skinned baby. She was so beautiful. All right, guys. So there's the paper part. There. And then the last part we have of this. Oh my goodness, is um, old vintage cards. There's a, a dog and a boy and, and um, his dog at the bank, post office. I don't know. It just says receiving. And this cute little girl with her dolly and her big pink bow that I'm so anti big pink bow. So anti big pink bow. <laughs> because. It's destined that she is a girl by wearing that, by slapping that big old bow. But it's cute, guys. You guys know what I mean. And we're not going to talk about theory and stuff like that. I'm not going into that. <laughs> and this guy is smiling all the way to the bank. I want to see a little black kid or a little brown kid with a bank book in this time period smiling like that. <laughs> it says that youngster of yours has ambitions to help him open a savings account for him. He'll take pride in helping it to grow as he grows. Right? Of course, my niece, my niece says they have bank accounts that we contribute birthday money to. But the time difference is what I'm talking about, people. <laughs> okay, let me stop. Lastly, we have one cabinet card. And you guys have seen these, so I'm just going to fly through them. Hopefully you can see those. And I know this vintage feel of, hold on a second. Okay, sorry about sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> okay, so what I did is took all of the kids' cabinet cards and added them to this pack. So you've got one, two, three. Oh, let me show you the backs of them. Two, three, four. Love that picture. Five. <laughs> oh my god five how many did I say oh lord you see you see one two three four five six seven eight that's a cute picture right there I love that one nine ten 11, 12, another Tim Holtzy guy, 13, <laughs> my husband's favorite, 14, and 15. And let me just um, quit giggling and count that to be sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You see? <laughs> oh my God. I don't know, there's 14 or 15 there. Okay, and the last things. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't finish. I forgot I had these. These are so cute. These are so cute. Look at these. Let me scoop this over. And that's it. Every I cleaned it out. <laughs> it's cleaned out. Okay, you've got baby patterns. That, uh, look at the black baby. <gasps> She's cute. Oh my gosh, I'm not taking her out. Look at this one. Latina. Latino baby. <laughs> this one is a Holly Hobby uh, doll pattern. I don't know, guys, if these, the, if all the patterns are in there or not. I don't know, but it's a possibility. Two patterns in there? Yeah, there's two patterns in there. See, I get stuff and I don't even open it. And can we can we please stop right here with this baby right there? <laughs> Look at her afro. <laughs> oh, I love that. Look at her. <laughs> She's got on her cape or whatever you call those. I forget what the proper term is, but it's uh, just so cute. <laughs> okay, let me put that back in there. I didn't even know there's two patterns in there because I get stuff and then I never even look at it. And then I just sell it and it's gone. Okay, this one. Um, <clears throat> this is cute. Very cute. I don't know if all the pattern... That would be cool if all the pattern um, was in there. 
these dresses are really cute and then this one has some pink paper in here and there's just other stuff in there and these are, these are going to be I might take these out no I'm going to leave them in here guys but they're kind of dusty because they're the way I found them and then they've been sitting up here you know okay so there's you know patterns I'm not going to count them because there might be there's obviously two in each pack all right and then finally the last part oh my god because I am over oh my god 41 minutes okay so this is going in there I love these buttons they are beautiful baby pearl buttons in blue aren't those adorable they're on their original look at the little baby right there they're on their original um card made in the USA and there's all the information right there like you I, I mean people sell these on they sell these for kind of high I do too a little bit I, I'm not gonna lie um, if they if they're like this I sell them on Etsy a little bit less than what other people do but they people sell these things for like expensive to me anyway I guess I'm criticizing myself too so there's that and then you get that little stamp that's a little train stamp and then there's four five little pink clips sparkly pink clips that you can put um, you know just put stuff on if you want to okay so there's that alright that is the baby D stash all about kids all about babies all about grandkids and just lots of goodness for you guys to play around with so yeah and I've already started to pack it up. <laughs> okay, so I'll be back. What's next? Um, I think I'm going to do one. Let me look at my list here. I'm going to do a vintage, uh, just a vintage paper pack with a vintage book uh, for glue booking, for um, journal making, junk journal making. Oh... Uh, yeah, because I called it, I just said leftover pack with, with a ledger book, because it's got a ledger book in there. Not as big as the ones from Sophia and um, the other one I had. And then I think I'm going to stop and focus on my beach theme kits for the upcoming week, because those are going to be really fun. Um, and they're contemporary, modern, they've got a modern feel and a vintage feel um, as well. Okay? Alright guys, so I'll be back with one more after this one. And, um, yeah. Okay. Bye. Adios. Sale pues. Oro le pues.